scenes aren't from India or Australia, they're from the United States. Fans packed into a sold out stadium in Texas to usher in the start of Major League Cricket. This is insane. My family flew in from LA. So, I mean, everyone's hyped. This is exciting. While it has more than a billion fans across the globe, cricket had yet to crack the American sports landscape, dominated by highly profitable sports industries like the NBA, NFL, and Major League Baseball. Organizers for Major League Cricket are hoping to change that with a six-team 2020 tournament currently being played in North Carolina and here in Texas. As soon as the people start to understand how the game is played, I don't see why it wouldn't catch on. It's, very, it's a very catchy kind of game. It's high-paced and a lot of action all the time. Calvin Savage moved to the U.S. from South Africa 18 months ago and was drafted to play for the Texas Super Kings this season. A couple years ago, I never ever thought there would be cricket in America, let alone me getting to play cricket in America. While the stated long-term goal is to invest in American players, those involved in the league say the addition of big stars from overseas will help bring in the fans. Stephen Fleming once captained New Zealand. He now coaches the Texas Super Kings. Well, it will take some time, but to have tournaments like this with the best players in the world with some of the best franchises is a great way to start. While previous attempts to start cricket leagues in the U.S. have failed, Major League Cricket has overseas support that could make the difference. Four of the six teams have ties to the Indian Premier League, the most successful and wealthiest cricket league in the world. Major League Cricket's financial backers are pumping $120 million into the league, mostly on players and cricket stadiums like this one which just a few years ago used to be a baseball field. And with an eye to building its brand, the league has secured broadcast deals around the world, including a specialized streaming service here in the U.S. Cricket comes to a very hungry set of South Asians and Commonwealth people here today, but that's just the beginning. We think the local com American community will get into it over the next decade or two. But it seems there are already a few cricket converts in the crowd for the first game. I got one buddy with me who didn't know anything about cricket, but he's having a good time so far. A high offense game. If anything can appeal to Americans, it would be T20. The American cricket experiment may be a long-term investment, but here in Dallas, at least, Major League Cricket has started off with a bang. Tabish Talib, Al Jazeera, Grand Prairie, Texas.